thank you so much for your um, purchase. This guy will be in the mail very shortly. I just wanted to show you a video of what he looks like before I send him. And a very quick thank you um, on purchasing him and or her, depending on what you feel like. And, um, and also a quick video on how to use your puppet. Thank you so much for buying them. So this is your puppet, have a good close look. Sorry, camera focus. And his feet. I'm sure you've looked at all the photos and love him, but anyway, I thought I'd like to always like to show a video of him just before I pack him up ready for shipping. So sorry about him or her, it's totally up to you. So in the box, so you'll get your puppet and you'll also get a plate with a magnet. So make sure you don't throw the little magnet away because it'll be in there somewhere. Um, you don't have to use a magnet, but if you're wearing thick clothing or it's a warm day and you're wearing thick clothing, you might want to put a magnet on. You don't have to, it's up to you, depending on how it stays on. Um, this plate has a clear plastic coating that's to protect it in the mail, so it scratches or anything. You just take it off, as a, it's like a peely thing, so just peel it off. When you've got it, use your fingers and your thumb to curve it so that it fits nice and curly around your finger. You can just do it with your hands, just push it down like that, and you can see it even then slightly bending. Um, just with your hands to push it down and give it a nice curve to fit your shoulder. I've already got one of them on my um, shoulder here, so you can see when it's, when it's smooth, you can barely see it. It's underneath me is there so yep so when you first get your puppet you want to give him a bit of exercise every morning you want to take out and give him a bit of exercise so to exercise him just move the cord so you just move it like this and this and it just moves the cords in the right place to make sure it's free and the fur sometimes the fur can get stuck underneath and it just gives them a bit more movement well, this guy's quite I can already feel it's got really good movement so some of them have a bit more fur underneath the heads this guy doesn't so he's got really good movement um, so that's just a bit of exercise in the morning then make sure all the fur is away from the base and then just place it on. You can check your magnets the right way around. Sometimes the polarities don't work. So you're just gonna make sure your, your magnet underneath is the right way for the magnet underneath here. Oh, also, actually, so I've got, I do have a magnet underneath this guy. So when you put the magnet on, it's there, this is an old plate. When you put the magnet on, it's an old plate that's in, this is one of my first plates. It would, it won't, it, it won't yours is um, galvanized, so it won't do that. Um, not galvanized, it's coated. Um, it won't go this color. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, here's the magnet goes underneath the material and then you've got the magnet here that that's how you put it on and then you can see here's really strong so really strong not going anywhere it's staying up there sometimes they kind of slip a little bit but other than that it's not going it's not going to fall off you can move jump and it's not going to go anywhere so once it's securely on your shoulder then to help to move him <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this <laughs> push down so we can watch the video and I'm showing you so you learn how to do this like subtly but this is how you move them up and down. So sideways, it's like kind of opening a bottle. You do that way. And it's a bit difficult trying to show you. Well, it's good that way. So here's this movement. So you can do it slowly. So you do subtle movement and together you can also do it. So if you push down and then hold the down and then turn, you can also make them turn, turn the other way. So push down. You can make them turn and look at the same side. So, so you're looking up and then turning. So a combination of this, I would suggest doing it in a mirror or in front of the phone so you get the idea of what you're doing. It's a bit more difficult because I'm trying to show you as opposed to doing it by my side. But he's got really good movement. So when I would do it just naturally, it'd be like this. And you wouldn't even, like, you put your hands down by your, by your crutch and you can move him without, people won't even notice where your hands are. They'll just be looking at the puppet. And then again, you can sort of make it look up as you go in. And you sort of learn to animate it a little bit. And it's just really fun to wear and I love wearing them. This is what it looks like from the back. Thank you very much for liking my art. Follow us on Facebook. Um, we put a lot more puppets up on there than we do on Etsy. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy your puppet. Bye-bye.